They're so effective because they're constantly evolving, creating awareness. It does raise a lot of questions and certainly has gone viral. Come on, it's PETA. We go to the edge, people. Paul McCartney topped the stars who turned out for the 35th anniversary of PETA. They're on the front lines of the animal movement. It gets bigger and stronger. We've seen large and incremental advances, but always advances. These pigs are really lucky. Their former owners asked if we could find a new home for them where they weren't in danger of being eaten. If Americans knew how agricultural corporations treat animals, we would be f***ing horrified. <laughs> Luckily, some brave activists, patriots, are pulling back the curtains to create a better world. It's of the times right now. It's cool to be vegan. You can do all these great, fun things. A dichotomy of something funny or glamorous, and then hit them with the information. It's 1985 and I've decided I'm going vegetarian. Also, apparently it's been pretty healthy. Look, I don't think I've aged at all. Remember in the NBA, if you don't get involved, bro, you get left behind. PETA's Christian Outreach Division has a message for drivers regarding their Easter meal. The more provocative the advertising is, the more attention that it gets. Any way to help save an animal, I support. We came across at least 80 rabbits, all exposed to the elements, and their sensitive feet were on barren wire at all times. So we negotiated a deal to rescue them from industries, including fur. They actually started exploring almost immediately, redecorating their homes, and everyone was so happy. After meeting with PETA, the world's largest clothing retailer, banned Angora wool and donated 20,000 sweaters worth almost a million dollars to Syrian refugees in Lebanon. In fact, hundreds of top brands are pulling fur, down, and skins from their product lines. There's a new controversy this morning. PETA published a graphic video on how crocodiles are treated before being killed. A bloody PETA reptile was used for a protest against crocodiles killed for luxury Birkin bags. This way people can see no other creature should be killed for fashion. Why have you not done a naked ad for PETA? They haven't asked me. No. <laughs> the singer Pink is the latest celebrity to team up with PETA for their Rather Go Naked campaign. There are a lot of really great wool alternatives that people can look for. It's the future of fashion. We can vote for the world we want with what we wear. If you don't want to dissect something, you definitely have to stand up. After that shocking video went viral, the school would look at the anatomy dissection program as a whole. PETA's donations helped schools cut out dissection and ended deadly animal labs in seven more countries. Thousands of scientists learn about non-animal test methods through the PETA International Science Consortium's webinar series. OU ending its baboon program. UGA stops using live dogs. PETA credits public pressure for shutting down UW's cat lab. PETA launched a campaign last year to end research on baby monkeys. Now Congress is demanding an ethical review of all federally funded primate experiments. And the NIH's abusive experiments on monkeys. Now the NIH is ending the research to transfer 300 monkeys to other places. As the experimenter said, I'm as big a target as you can imagine, and if PETA can bring me down, they can bring anybody down. Iris was being held all alone at a roadside zoo in a tiny, barren cell with nothing to do or see and no companionship. She spent much of her time huddled under a dirty blanket but a generous PETA member helped free Iris to live on a lush island with palm trees and a chimpanzee family. Best of all, Iris will never be alone again. For over 20 years, these bears were kept in filthy cement cages, but PETA rescued the bears, and they'll live out the rest of their lives in freedom. The elephants are going away. Elephant unemployment levels are about to skyrocket. Bringing Brothers said today it is doing away with elephant acts. PETA deserves the credit for that. They have been lobbying for 35 years. Ringling says its decision was based on public concern over how animals are treated. The decision shows how much attitudes toward animals are changing. I hope you'll speak up for all the elephants. Promise me you'll never go to a circus that has animals. Our stars are the human performers that willingly participate. If they don't like it, they don't have to do it. Animals banned from Mexico circuses. For the shorter time that Pita Latino and these campaigns have been exposed to Latinos, the advances are pretty fast. It's amazing. Pita selling costumes to provoke discussion of trophy hunting. Is it that difficult for you to get an erection that you need to kill things <laughs> that are stronger than you? This year at Warp Tour, PETA 2 has gotten more than 100,000 kids to text SeaWorld, asking them to free the animals. 
We want people to experience firsthand why they should boycott SeaWorld with the iOrca virtual reality experience. It was really sad how she lost her baby. A mother should never have to know the pain of having her child torn away from her. I want nothing to do with it. I want to inspire other people to do good. There's been a lot of market partners that have said, let's not associate ourselves with SeaWorld. And collapsed profits as customers have deserted the controversial theme park. A big loss for SeaWorld after a day-long meeting that drew hundreds of opponents. The California Coastal Commission approved expansion if the park ends its orca breeding program. The orcas are their elephants and these will be the last ones forced to perform at SeaWorld. Let's end slavery everywhere, anywhere, for all living beings. Pet store owners hit with 97 charges of animal cruelty and neglect. A record 164 people face prosecution for Taiwanese pigeon racing. A former U.S. Army doctor has been suspended after an investigation revealed his gruesome techniques. These animals feel fear and pain and stress and terror and suffer just as we do. This company will have its federal contract suspended. Daisy Brand, under fire for beating and abusing cows. PETA has filed a lawsuit against Whole Foods, claiming that their humane meat label is deceptive and misleading. After being alerted to this disturbing footage, Patagonia cut ties with its wool supplier. China's dog leather trade is one of the worst things I've ever seen. If you love dogs like I do, remember, there's no easy way to tell whose skin you're really in. Justice is a tiny puppy chained outside. He was freezing cold and his collar had become ingrown. We found a guardian who is going to give him a lot of love and a great home. PETA sterilized more than 11,000 cats and dogs, built and delivered more than 200 free dog houses, and provided neglected dogs with more than 1,700 bales of straw. We are thrilled to be hosting the PETA Fall in Love Adopt-a-thon. So lots of dogs get adopted. He needs a good home. Everybody should adopt. For Tom Hardy, adoption is the only option. You learn the importance of not chaining dogs outside. Look after them right and you'll have your back. Tyron Matthew locked himself in a hot car to show how dangerous that can be for dogs. I mean, if you're gonna make a dog a part of your family, then make him a part of your family. Parents should be like, let's go save a dog. Be an angel for animals. PETA has been recognized with a Marketing and Tech Innovation Award for using data and marketing technology to achieve exceptional results. Because of all the voices, because of you, we will keep winning victories. So thank you from all of us at PETA. Thank you. <laughs>